What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm your humble host, Picasso. Thanks for joining in today, guys. We are back here. We are going to take uh, another look or an updated look at console launcher. Honestly, probably one of my most favorite and uh, most recommended launchers okay mainly keeping in, in mind that it is you know for uh the mobile gamer or just the gamer to be honest you like that gaming aesthetic then uh yeah this could be the launcher for you so we're gonna dive back in we're gonna look at some of the upgrades that happened uh one thing i will say right off the bat is that i believe that honestly console launcher you need a portrait mode it is great to have it in the landscape mode but having it in a portrait mode, uh, you know, keeping the same style. Um, of course, you know, the dock, it just rotates and everything just rotates a little bit and it might be a little bit more crunched or you space out the name of the app, maybe a little lower and have this, uh, this little uh, bar here somewhere at the top. But yeah, I believe that it does need a landscape mode. Okay, so like I told you guys in the previous video, I did go ahead and purchase the uh, premium or the pro version and unlocked all the benefits and it's amazing. Okay, it's great. Let me go ahead and put some volume on this so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. Well, just to hear everything. So you already know we have those sounds when interacting. You know, we have all that good stuff. Okay, we're gonna close. So uh, the next thing that you get is the app background. As you see here, I just have a normal wallpaper, right? So we do have that. So I'm gonna dive into settings here. Let's see what we got. So the music, the music is actually pretty cool, um, but I disable it, uh, especially, <laughs> you know, just for the video, of course, as well. Uh, let's see here. Sound effects is on. We have vi oops, we have vibration on. So for orientation, we have landscape auto, landscape, and landscape reverse. I haven't tried landscape reverse actually. So let's. Oh, okay, I see. So if you want it to be on a different side, maybe because of course here's my Type C port on this side. Top of the phone is here, uh, but I will keep it to just landscape. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see what else we got. Go down to customize. This is where it gets fun. So as you see here, I do have a different theme on. I don't remember if that was uh, available without the pro version, but we got system. Okay, which is a dark theme because my phones are always in dark theme, to be honest. So we have dark, we got light, and then we got the one I'm currently using switch root. Okay, home app type. So you can have tiles or you can have it exactly like the app drawer or banner. So right now it's on tile. Let's put it to Android app. Let's go home and let's see, oh, sorry, app drawer I meant. So you see now, oh, that's actually pretty cool. You actually see a lot more of the apps. To be honest, I don't <laughs> know why I didn't do this before because I actually like it like this. So I'm assuming that that's exactly what the app drawer looks. So they're round in shape, right? So it just brings the style in the app drawer to your home screen. I think I like this a little bit better. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below which one looks better. Having it like that, uh, the same as the app drawer and then banner. Let's take a look at banner. Okay, so the apps now look like a banner, banner style, right? So it's not tile, it's not matching the app drawer the banner style let's go back in there so it's definitely going to be it's either app drawer or tile let's take another look at the tile that's just the default right we got the tiles here oh there's actually no uh the the app label is in there which i prefer on my home screen not to have the label in the app drawer it's okay but on the home screen i'd rather not have the label so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that let's dive back into the settings see what else has changed and again, we can do the same thing with the drawer. You can have the banners, the tiles, or the app drawer style. I'm going to leave that with the app drawer style. Okay, select shortcuts to show in the app drawer. So you can show, of course, we have non-game apps, uh, game apps, pin shortcuts, folders, and hidden shortcuts. You can also add those as you see fit. What else do we got here? Oops, I just turned something off. Uh, so the icon shape. Okay, so we got square, we got uh, round square, none, square, circle, squircle, and cut corners. 
So for example, let's go cut corners and look at that. That's actually kind of cool too. I kind of like to cut corners. I'm going to keep that one for the rest of the video. I'm not sure if it's going to stay there like that, but um, let's see. What else did we have that we didn't have? Show app icon badges on pin shortcuts. I'm sure we had that. So custom icon packs. So we can also have that. I do have some. Let's go and hit Lux. Okay, it's going to restart itself. And now we have the Lux icon pack. Okay, I don't know why I didn't try. I think the reason why <laughs> I know exactly why is because I was saving it for this video to really showcase these things. So I'm going to keep Lux there. All right, let's go back. Uh, what else did we have that we didn't have? Uh, so we have the, so now you can choose, this was there before, of course, you can choose the background for console launcher, have it different from the actual, uh, your Android wallpaper. Uh, uh, stuff like that. Icon pack, show app. Here we go. So this one we didn't have. So now, and you can feel free to correct me because I really do not remember if we did have this one or not. But now we have app backgrounds. So you see now it's on Ace Racer. Then now it's on Angry Birds. So each app, right, it's going to show you that one. This one probably looks the best. You know what? Let's go back to the original. So let's go back to uh where we go where we go the icon packs or not not icon shape um where is that choose icon pack let's go to none okay let's go back to the original and now you can see it a little bit better so now as you can see for each app the background changes according to the app, which is that very, it's a very, uh, this is, a, it's like more gamer aesthetic, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Same thing happens in the app drawer as well. Okay. So you can just scroll the apps like this. And as you see, it also changes in here as well, but you can also search this way. If you know the specific app, if you don't want to scroll, you can just choose the specific app that way and you can close like that. All right, let's go back into settings, customize. So, and uh, here we go. So you can select what dock buttons to show. Okay, and just a little fact for you to know that it will show on the dock in the order that you select them. So if you select this first, that's gonna be the first one. Select this first, whichever one you select first is gonna be first. And so in the order that you select the apps to show on the dock, that is how they're going to be uh, displayed on the dock okay so those are some of the benefits we get and uh, down here we have controls so this now is for mapping your controller to be used of course we already know this was here um but i do believe i'm not gonna say i do believe but <laughs> i want to say that uh you know what i'm not gonna say because i'm sure this was here without the pay uh, the pay just really unlocked all those other things in my previous video. It's because if I'm not doing a good job of showcasing it, <laughs> the difference in this video, feel free to check out the other one. Okay. Uh, select shortcuts to show in the app drawer. I think we already took a look at that. Yes, we did. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's still a very cool uh, app. The only thing, like I said, that I could even possibly think of improving the app is to have a portrait mode because I would like to have it in auto. So when I'm using it in landscape and I'm playing my game and I'm finished and I go home, I would love to be able to go like this, put it back to portrait mode, and then you still have all these features, boom, now in portrait. You know what I mean? I would love that because I'm still going to go like this just to get that full landscape view of it and feel like I've just literally just picked up a portable console, you know, especially if you're like me and you have quite a bit of different games, you know, so it really, it, it, it's, it's, it's really cool. Now let's dive in and actually get this set up how I actually want it. So let's see, where is the choose icon pack? I did have uh, Lux, but I want to try something else. Try to find how I'm going to use it. Let's go pixel dark. Let's see if that's kind of what I want. Uh, somewhat, but then I also have to change the icon shape. I think I'm going to go circle. Let's go circle. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, the circle looks good. 
that little dark uh, black circle around the icons. I really like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. And again, just having the apps be able to the, the background match the apps. It's 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 cool, man. It's so cool. App drawer here. I think what I'm gonna do that I am good. It's loading apps. I know. So you gotta let it load. See, it would not come out. I gotta let it load. I'm actually going to put the theme to dark. I just prefer the dark mode. I wish there was like an onyx black, like a, a deep deep black. But uh, yeah, that's still okay. That's still gonna run just like that. Now, if I was able to go like this and have this same thing in in portrait mode, that would just mwah, chef's kiss, right? So very awesome, man. Honestly, the extras that you get, it's definitely worth uh, uh, basically, you know, tipping the developers. They did a great job. Again, the only thing that I would change you know, or add, because it really does not need any improvement. The only thing that I would add to it is a portrait mode. That's it. That's all I would add. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think about this. You know, do you like console launchers? Do you use launchers on your devices or do you, do you just run them stock? I'm very interested to know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. I really appreciate it. It does help out the channel. Share the video. And uh, yeah, as always, I'm your humble Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.